During the 2012 Eugene and Marilyn Glick Indiana Authors Award dinner, the regional author winner was named. This year's winner, Barbara Shoup. I'm really thrilled. Plus it's coming from the library, which I love. Anything from the library is even more special than anything else. So it, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. And in my work as the director of the Writers' Center, I know how many good writers there are in Indiana. So I really feel honored knowing that especially. I feel really fortunate to have been able to publish as many books as I have. It's a tough, it's a tough market um, and, and getting tougher. And I've done it in a lot of different ways. And the most recent book, which actually just came out this week, so it's been a great week for me, um, An American Tune, was published by Indiana University Press. And that was a really terrific experience to work with a small press who really cares about a book and you know, lets you have a part in the process of making it happen. So I'm not sure I had a plan, but if I would have, this would have been it. <laughs> I'm a selfish writer, really. I mean, I write for myself. Um, I write to sort of stay sane because I find the world a very difficult place to understand. I don't really think it can be understood. And, and to look as a way of looking at things that are interesting and, and often troubling to me, why things are the, the way that they are, why they can't be another way. And so the things that are on my mind, I sort of run them through, I guess, like the lens of a story because you, you know, I can't figure them out if I'm just looking at them. But if I can give them life by way of characters in a situation that is not real, I can sort of trick myself into, into looking at the things that are interesting to me and coming to some sort of an insight that I wouldn't have been able to have if I had just been thinking about them straight out. So it's a, it's a way of looking at things for me and trying to understand them. I learn a lot when I write. I, I surprise myself and most, most people who, who write will tell you that you know, they do get into this, what you're trying to do always is to get into this place where that happens, where you're following the story and the story is telling you what it wants to be and sometimes telling you things you didn't know you knew. It's a wonderful kind of thing when that happens. I grew up in the Calumet region. I went to Bloomington to school when I was 18 and moved to Indianapolis um, in 1968. I'm still living in the same house we bought in 1969 in Broad Ripple and so I really am an Indiana person and I'm good with that. I, I like being a Midwestern person. I like being in Indiana and I, I think that life is, is interesting and complex in Indiana in its own way and in some ways in that most universal way that, that life is interesting and complex for all human beings. So. I feel like I'm very much rooted in this place and I can't really imagine living anywhere else. I like to travel, I love to travel, but I always like to come home too. And I think, I think Indiana is a good place to live, um, a good place to raise a family and to just live a life that's not, you know, sort of so frantic as it is in some other places. A lot of my writing is set here in Indiana, uh, the young adult books particularly, and an American Tune, which is my new novel, is mostly set in Bloomington, but then it's also partly set in northern Michigan, which is another place that I know and love because we spend a lot of, a lot of time up there. So yeah, it provides the settings uh, for my novels. The only one that doesn't have an Indi Indiana connection is a, a historical novel that I did that's called Vermeer's Daughter that's set in 17th century Holland. So that's not so much the Indiana connection, but it is, a, it was a kind of life that was kind of a small town life in, in that period of time. It wasn't living in Amsterdam or some of the big cities of the time. So in that way, it's not so different. Ordinary people. Okay. I feel really thrilled and grateful to have received this award. I think it's an amazing thing that the Glicks have done this for Indiana writers and that the library has partnered to, to make this program as wonderful as it is. The, the evening is, has become such a, a thing in Indianapolis and probably beyond for all I know. It's a, a really elegant evening. Um, everybody feels good and I feel so lucky to have been a part of it. The Eugene and Marilyn Glick Indiana Authors Award is an annual honor presented by the Indianapolis Public Library Foundation. To learn about next year's event, go to indianaauthorsaward.org.